It's exciting. It means I can deliver safer care to my patients. <laughs> Lauren, the technology here, while Michael goes for a bit of a walk, the, the technology Emma, is still nice. pretty oh, this early. Is cool. How is, this has yeah. been La Trobe University the doing their work. Yeah. Off he goes. I might there walk out and see our friends outside <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to see those glasses again just quietly, Lauren. They're a little bit addictive. Um, the technology is evolving really, really quickly. And what we're trying to do is find different use cases and really work with Latrobe to see how we can really push that technology to its maximum. So what other medical devices can we Bluetooth in? Can we get a patient hooked up to a monitor, for example, and we get those instant feeds as the doctor that's sitting remotely? All these bits of things help us really recreate the clinical setting and get as much information about the patient as possible. You know, we've got nurses working in aged care facilities holding devices and trying to angle it and do the clinical examination. It's really quite awkward. Whereas if we can get them hands free with something like, you know, smart glasses, they can automatically now do what we're asking them to do. And we can see what they're seeing, which is incredible. How, how far a distance are we talking about for this technology? Could you be one side of the state, one side of the country treating a patient? Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. So we can use platforms. This is literally a computer on your head. We can use platforms with in these um, smart glasses and we can connect people across the state, across the country, not a problem. You better show us. Can oh, you do that? Yes, absolutely. So, I mean... What have we got here? So what we've got here, these are called the HoloLens. So this is just one of the types of um, AR glasses that we're using. And as you can see, they go on your head. Okay. Yes. Now we can flick uh, so our viewers can see what you're seeing, so, Lauren, here yes, in the studio. So currently I'm seeing a live feed uh, they should be able to see what I'm seeing right now. And usually, oh, oh there we go. You're yeah, you're starting. Okay, so what yeah. would normally be happening then? So sometimes we can um, use these to uh, aug augment what we're seeing. So sometimes we can actually put an augmented reality visual, like an X-ray, for example, in front of the clinician, and we can actually explain to them. I'm going to try and see if I can actually get that, uh, that AR working. Um, so we could look at an x-ray, for example, and we can explain that x-ray to the clinician and use pointers, for example, to explain that x-ray. Um, and so, you know, we've got information yeah. that we can deliver to the clinician and they can give us that information back. And what happens when you look over our way? I just see you. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit. Of, oh, there we are. There's a little bit of a delay. But yeah. so, that, I mean, that is extraordinary technology. I see. Yeah, absolutely. What, where is that going to make a difference? We talk about aged care, but there'd be no limits, surely, to Absolutely. It. My I head's mean... too big. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he's looking at the You can just do a little bit of an alteration there, make them a bit bigger. <laughs> I've got a big noggin. <laughs> Give that a go. Uh, essentially, you know, we could put them anyway. So we could have a bush nurse working out at a remote clinic and we could have a cardiologist, you know, sitting centrally in Melbourne, supporting that nurse with uh, some of the, the tools that we're using. So we've managed to actually Bluetooth some amazing devices such as a stethoscope. So I can actually listen to the heart sounds of a patient that's sitting hundreds and thousands of kilometres away. It's really incredible. Oh, there you are. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> wild that we're doing the interview now through, through those glasses. <laughs> there's a whole variety of costs. There's a couple of smart glasses coming out. They just do the video with a couple of uploads. That can be, you know, a couple of hundred dollars. Wow. Whereas you can get the sort of Rolls Royce that can be a couple of thousand dollars. Oh, this is the Rolls Royce? Well, you know, this is definitely up there. <laughs> uh, you know, so some of them just do the video technology and that might be absolutely fine for some settings. Whereas this really is a computer on your head. So, you know, that's really going to be a lot more money. So Michael Rowland has a computer in his head and he had one on his head. Yeah, Correct. I'm not wow. supercharged. <laughs> that is great. And I, I love, 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 even if this makes life a tiny bit easier for aged care patients, for mm. starters. Exactly. Uh, yeah. It is fabulous news.